Okay, so if we know that some number is 3 greater than 6 times a number, um, and then we know that if you add both numbers, sum to 17, we can figure out what are the numbers. So what are the numbers? That's the question. All right. Um, so, first of all, what is this topic? This is algebra, and what we're doing is taking uh, a, a bunch of words and we're turning them into an equation or a relationship. And at first these might seem confusing, but you might be able to break them down with some key observations. Um, one of them, of course, is that this word is is very important. Is is um, an equivalent for equals or just the equal sign. For example, 2 plus 3, right, right here, 2 plus 3 is 5. In other words, um, 2 plus 3 equals 5, or 5 is 2 plus 3. So is is just like the words equals, and that helped me through many of these problems. So we have some number, let's call it x, is 3 greater than, here's another key phrase, greater than. Um, this can be thought of as addition. So 3 greater than what? 6 times a number. So in other words, another number. So 6 times a number times, or that refers to multiplication. So we have some number is 3 greater than 6 times another number. OK, that's our first relationship. The next one is this. Both numbers sum to 17. Or in other words, if we take both numbers and we add them, we get 17. So what do we do? Well, we have this equation right here, and it seems a little bit more simple, <coughs> excuse me, or straightforward than this equation. But the problem is we have these two variables. So we want to write this equation in terms of one of the variables. So we have some type of x plus x something, or y plus y something, because if you have one variable, you can solve. And what we have right here is all we need. It says that x is the same thing as this. So instead of writing x, we could always write this. <coughs> Excuse me. So instead of x, you write 3 plus 6y, and then plus y. I'm rewriting this equation, equals 17. Now this chunk right here, that was x. But instead of writing x, I'm writing what x is the same exact thing as. That's what this equal sign means. So now we have 3 plus 7y, <coughs> because 6 ply 6y plus 1 is 7y equals 17. So then, what do we do here? Well, we want to figure out what y is, so we can subtract 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7y we haven't touched yet. 17 minus 3 is 14. And I'm going to ignore this 0 right here, so 7y equals 14. <coughs> y then is 2, because 2 times 7 equals 14. That's what y equals. What about x? Well, we knew that x plus y is 17. So if y is 2, then x plus 2 has to equal 17. So then x can only be 15. 15 plus 2 equals 17. And you can always check if this works um, by going back to the original equation. So we had this one number is 3 greater than 6 times a number. So that means that x, which equals 15, if we took y and we multiplied y by 6, so 2 times 6, we get 12, and then we add 3 to it, we should get 15, and we do. And if we take 15 and 2, we get 17, so we know this works.